Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. And this is our progress report and activity update video blog number 10. Uh, and our progress report and activity update for the week of April 29th through May 5th, 2013. So in this last week, uh, we had some pretty cool announcements, got a lot of things out that we've wanted to get out for quite a while. Uh, first and foremost being that we finished our third in the three-part series ACE application blog, and we launched our open source ACE application portal. And for those who don't know what the ACE application is, uh, if you want to read those blogs and get those details, click on the link down below that I always include in the descriptions of these YouTube videos, and uh, you, can, you can go to these pages and see images and everything else that I'm about to talk about. But the quick overview is this is an application that allows us to track our time. We've been using it now, a version of this, for a couple of years, but we've been beta testing this specific application that we custom built for uh, what we're doing and the teacher demonstration in villages, communities, and cities of the future. Uh, to collaborate with us for open source sustainability and open source project launch blueprinting and everything that we do. And so we finally put that portal out and made it available. And if you'd like to read all about the details of our process leading up to actually designing our own open source application, if you'd like to have access to the code to be able to modify it, and if you'd like to take it for a test drive, um, check out the link down below. And our portal links to that as well. And it talks about exactly all the details of what that application is accomplishing right now and what it's going to be able to accomplish in the future as part of our global change goals. Uh, additionally to that, we made all of our open source portals a little bit easier to navigate. We've added visual anchoring to them, meaning that there's a little globe now on all of our open source portals. So when you see that, it shows that that's our open source content and where you would find all the links to all of the open source details that we are project launch blueprinting which includes uh, specific building plans, detailed building plans, and architectural plans for duplication, details on materials and costs, details on equipment and tools and costs, everything that you need there, uh, labor projections and everything that's necessary that will then be updated with our labor experience of building everything so that people know exactly how much time it's going to take to duplicate every single component that we build, everything you need to duplicate everything that is one community. And so we've added these, these imagery to all of our open source portals now so that when people are scanning through our site, when you see that, you'll know exactly where to go. And we'll be adding more imagery over time to make it even easier. We want to make it as, as quick and efficient as possible for people to get the information that they need. And so this is one big step in that direction. Um, additionally, we've completed uh, several major pages where we're consistently updating and sharing uh, the highest good society aspects of one community, which is what, what does it look like what, what are the social and recreational and um, more of like the values aspects of one community and that we believe define us as a highest good for all organization. And so the pages specifically that we've updated and shared this week were our sustainable sustainability page, our community maintenance page, which are the four phases of community building um, as identified by M. Scott Peck in his book, A Different Drum, and then uh, our spirituality page, as well as our freedom page. And so if you haven't seen those pages, please check them out. Take a look at them if you like them. Share them. Share them on Facebook. Spread the information around. Uh, get the ideas out there. You know, what we're creating is being built in the, in the mindset of Gandhi and the Dalai Lama and Martin Luther King. And, um, and we're truly trying to put this idea out of fairness and equality and well, we call it highest good society, and I guess you can read about all those details on on the website, what that looks like, and, and um, take that information and use it in whatever way feels best to you. Um, additionally, we are now working on plumbing planning for the Earthbag Village, and we're working on putting a lot of work into the labor details, into labor projections on exactly how long it's going to take to build this Earthbag Village and what the plumbing is going to look like for all the water catchment and storage and all that details, all those details as well as um, how that's going to work with the vermiculture bathroom and the communal showers and how that hot water is going to go into the tropical atrium and provide additional radiant heat in that environment. And so if you'd like to see an image 
for some of the uh, differences that we did. We started making some different some changes in the elevations, looking at where we're going to use all the dirt that we excavate, excavate where we're going to put that, um, whether we really want to put the tropical atrium eight feet in the ground, or if we want to put it four feet in the ground and then berm up around it an additional four feet, which is what we decided to do. And so um, we created an image that, that really represents that, and it'll be in the written blog, which is, once again, the link down below, the link to that. Um, additionally, in the Education for Life program, uh, we've completed the Bloom's Taxonomy page and Study Technology. So our review and assessment of those two educational systems for incorporation into our open source and free shared Education for Life program are now completed and up. We shared those this week, and so I'll include the links to that as well. And then, um, other than that, we're moving forward on Sego Center 3D. I'll throw a quick little snippet picture of the 3D of the Sego Center, as you can see it kind of coming together, which is just really basic. We didn't get a lot of work done on that, but we are moving forward on that. And um, we're also working on 3D for the Earthbag Village, but we don't really have any images to share on that yet. It's not there yet. So, that's pretty much our update. ASAP uh, open source portal update. Oh, and our highest good for all open source portal is complete. That was the final one that we really needed to, well, when I say complete, put the infrastructure into place, and then, you know, they consistently keep building out as we add more and more details to that. But um, the highest good for all portal was one that we were waiting on, and that includes, or we still have a couple pieces to add to it, but the portal itself is now done. And if you go there, you can see the foundations that we consider are, are um, the most meaningful parts of our highest good for all philosophy, which number one is open source project launch blueprinting. It's open source and free sharing everything that we do so that people can use it in whatever way that they want, without copyrights, without patents, without any limitation in use, and taking a, a big, big step beyond that, which is teaching people how to use this information and how to evolve it to the next level. And so our goal is documenting through these video blogs and everything else that we do doing every aspect of this process so that we can, can make it as easy and as convenient as possible and demystify the whole process and, and teach people that regular people with uh, clarity of intent and a solid desire to create something different can. And so that open source portal, the highest good for all portal, talks about it links to all the foundations of what uh, we think are most important with our highest good of all philosophy which, as I said, includes the open source project launch blueprinting, number one, nonprofit leadership is number two, zero waste living and the sustainability uh, foundations that we have, the ACE application that we were talking about, which is going to be uh, a collaborative tool, a global collaborative tool for us and working with others that want to help contribute to this philosophy of highest good for all and contribute objective data to everything that we're doing, showing how long it takes them to build an earth bag village and a straw bale village and to duplicate these models that we're creating. And so um, that page, and we're really excited to be able to put that out now and to be able to share those details. So that's all the stuff that we've accomplished uh, behind the scenes. Uh, we have another couple pages of the Education for Life program that are done that just need to be put out there. Oh, the mindfulness and fun uh, page is also complete now for the Education for Life program also. So that one's done, and we've got a couple more that are done behind the scenes. The Freedom page is done, and um, the uh, fam community and family curriculum page are done behind the scenes. And we're doing a ton of work. We are still working on the planting details for the, um, for the Tropical Atrium, which are done. It's just putting that page together. So. It's been three weeks of work now doing that. We've got all the images formatted. We've got most of the information in there, but we wanted to make it simpler, even simpler than it is. And so now we're breaking that page up into three categories where it's got the description of every plant that we're planting in there. It has uh, where it's going to be planted as a separate section. And then underneath it has special considerations, like details of why we chose the plants that we did to plant where we decided to plant them and the specifics of uh, things that we want to really be aware of when we plant those, uh, as far as like how much space they need and things like that. And then underneath that, a Wikipedia link to those every single plant. So for people who really want to dig deeper or see more pictures or get more information, you can really easily access that information from that page. And so this is the level of detail that we're putting in there. And as soon as we've got that done, then we'll put the purchasing details up as well, because we figured out all of that, how much it's going to cost to buy all of these plants, all these details, 
that are in our business plan as well. All of this stuff we're, we're putting out there so that it's open source and that people can use it and build it. I mean, technically somebody could, if they wanted to pick up where we're left, left off, they could start designing the last pieces of the tropical atrium with everything that we've done and, and build it possibly before we do. And so that's great. That's really what we're all about is getting the information out there. So that's our update. That's the stuff that's happening in the back, happening in the background. Um, still finishing up on the uh, labor details, which I'm hoping to finish up today. I've been working on it all morning and get that done. And we're collaborating with all of our partners and experienced earth builders to double check all of our work. We're still working hard on the materials details and the tools details and purchasing details and all of that for the earth bag village as well. And um, yeah, it's all coming along. So as always, thanks a ton for following us. Thanks a ton for your support. Uh, if you like what we're doing, if you like what we're talking about, share these ideas, share this information, get other people involved. Consider joining us as a pioneer or as a consultant if you feel you have something to add to our project. And, um, and thanks. thanks. Thanks for following our project. Thanks for liking our videos, for sharing our videos. Thanks for uh, all the support and emails and things that we get. And uh, as always, until next week, have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic week. Talk to you later.